sneaker community has been on fire for the last couple weeks. 12s, 5s, and 3s have released. And we still have one more dope ass shoe to release this year. Air Jordan 4 SBs, the Pine Green joints. I think they're calling it Pine Green, I believe. Uh, yeah, but I'll throw up some images of it, which I'm really looking forward to those. Um, mostly releasing exclusively at skate shops and on sneakers app so be on the lookout for those they're releasing i believe march 21st globally and then they already released on the 17th at skate shops so hopefully i already have this uploaded before the 21st um so keep that in mind okay just keep that in mind and congratulations to those that got exclusive access for them but i want to discuss so far the madness of march uh which starting off a really dope ass collaboration Air Jordan 12s and I'm on Air. So here we go. I already took the shoe out. I'm not gonna put it back in the box right now at least because I just wanna show you guys quickly. So here are the sleeves that they came in. I believe I, I believe these are the same sleeves that the white pair got. And uh, so no difference really there. Uh, it would've been cool if they did get the I'm Air logo in white uh, with this sleeve, but uh, I mean, I couldn't get one, so who knows. Um, but if you want to see the white pair, this is what they look like. I'll put up an image real quick right there. And this is the box, simple Air Jordan 12 box. It says Amma Manera here on both sides of the, uh, the lids right there. Um, or the lid, not lids. And then when you open up the box, you do kind of get a nice little image right there. Check that out. Uh, that's Michael Jordan right there. Absolutely shitting his guts out uh, from the supposed flu game. But in reality, it was just food poisoning, as you guys know from the uh, the Last Dance documentary. And then we also have within the box the special paper, the Alma Manera logo all over the special paper. And then we also have that extra paper that they include in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a blank paper to keep the shoe clean while they're trying to get to you. The Alma Manera Air Jordan 12s in the black colorway right here. Check it out. These are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing materials, amazing suede on them. This hairy suede, let, let me put one down real quick. This hairy suede on them is pretty damn soft, okay? The new buck suede as well is pretty damn awesome. It's very clean, it's very crispy. Um, and also, we do have a few details right here. We have the Alma Manera logo right uh, on the lace holes right here. And then also for this one, at least on the tongue of the shoe, Jumpman logo on the tongue on the right shoe. And then laces as well for both of them, uh, like a little bit more durable. I don't know if it's made of like, uh, like a, because it's like kind of shiny as well. I don't know if it kind of shows. There we go. Yeah, kind of on light. So you guys can see it kind of shines a little bit. I mean, all laces really do shine, but this one kind of feels like it has a little bit of like, maybe a little bit of wax. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some wax laces are on there. Um, and also the sock liner, pretty fancy stuff. Satin material, I believe it is. That's in there. Obviously, I, I tend to forget materials all the time, so I apologize for, you know, questioning that. But, uh, hey, let me show you guys the other shoe. Hang tag right here with the Alma Manera logo right there. Let's see if I'm facing this right here, right there. Alma Manera, or I guess in the camera would be the reverse, but jump my logo at the bottom of it. It comes in, the, in this little plastic bag. And then on the tongue for this one, Alma Manera logo on the, on the tongue of this one. So, yeah, pretty dope collaboration this time around. Now, a little bit of disrespect to these shoes because um, I saw that like two hours and 30 minutes after these had dropped, there were still a few pairs sitting on the sneakers app. Now, one thing for me that was disappointing, and I don't know why my dumbass forgot about this. I thought that these motherfuckers were going to be men's exclusive and then the white ones was going to be a women's exclusive. I don't know what... I, I read so many posts about these shoes because I really wanted... Uh, both pairs at least for myself and then try to get some pairs for uh, resale purposes but unfortunately my dumbass wasn't paying attention and I just was like okay well I ordered a pair and this give me a second size eight and a half in men slash ten in women's but in reality it's ten in women slash eight and a half in men so because again women's exclusive so these are definitely going to go up on Den of Heat for sure uh, we're gonna post up some nice pictures and probably we're gonna post a little video of them rotating on a little uh, Thing that we have uh, that rotates the shoes. I forget what it's called. I, I don't know I keep forgetting what it's called But uh, it's like a little display thing to rotate shoes or anything that you want to put on display Those will be going up either before or after this video uh, the images of it and that little video But I'll definitely put something uh, in this video right now for uh, for these shoes as well 
at least the ones that I got to put on sale uh, on Den of Heat. But anyways, collaboration. Now, some controversial shit about threes. Okay, I got my personal pair, but um, I couldn't get pairs for resale purposes. Um, but I'm okay with it because these ended up having a bit of some disaster to them. The Air Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined. Uh, also, as you guys saw the box, the box, that's the reimagined look for the box. I don't know why they went that route. Uh, quite frankly, I don't really care for that part. But uh, as you guys can see, we have the OG Nike Air hang tag over here. Nike Air heel tabs on the back. Now, controversial stuff that's been going on. Quality control issues. There's an image going on around, then I'll post it up real quick right here. Heel tab, Nike Air, and then a Jumpman logo over here, which is insane. Um, and I'll, like I said, I'll put the image somewhere around here. And then we also have the issue of elephant print. Which I also have this issue. I'm going to show you guys before I post any more images. Check that out. So as you guys see on this shoe right here. Look at that elephant print. Look how like it's so thin. At least with the darker gray stripes on there. It's just so thin. The texture of it is so much more thinner compared to the front over here. So pretty ridiculous stuff on that part. And then also there's been a few other images of this right here. Where the leather isn't getting cut all the way. Uh, as you guys see like little peaks that are right there on the shoe. I don't know if it's just the leather not getting cut all the way or exactly what, you know, is going on with this. But I've just seen people saying that it's just, you know, they're not cutting the leather all the way like they're supposed to. I have two right here, it's basically on both shoes, but one right here on both shoes and then another one right here at the bottom of both shoes at the bottom of the laces. So overall, to me, sneaker of the year, I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, this were, these were kind of lazy in terms of like the way they did the reimagined look. I mean, sail, heel tabs, sail colored midsole. I mean, there's nothing super special. There's nothing super special about them other than the fact that they're white cements. Now, to me, they would have been more special if they came out the actual OG way, which is, you know, obviously MJ, he got a crispy white pair when obviously he got them. So it would have been better, a lot more better. And the one thing I also found uh, pretty crazy was the fact that we got the hang tag like this i don't know why but i'm so used to getting the hang tags with that little like uh chain that comes with them it's not a chain it's like a little like uh i'm just gonna call it a chain i keep forgetting what it's called so the little chain that comes with most of the hang tags i think this is how they re they released first in uh back in the day but i just i haven't seen like you know full-on images with the hang tag i don't even think they I, I don't even know man i'm so off with my history about it so i'm not gonna speak anymore before i get shit on but anyways again do I think sneaker of the year? Not so much, okay? Not so much. It's just a little bit lazy. You know, lost and founds were a little bit better. Uh, for me, overall, the best one in terms of the reimagined, uh, you know, series, the very first one, the pound leather bread joints, those were definitely up there compared to these. I mean, why? I just, I don't know, man. The fact that they, you know, there wasn't a lot of, you know, quality control issues on them compared to like the lost and founds where right now, and again, I'll put some images. There was like a few pairs where the dye off the jeans is like, for some reason, getting even worse on them. Like when people are barely just now wearing them. And then on top of that, uh, the red paint on them is also just so bad as well. Like it's just fading off pretty quickly. Um, and I think also the, like the flaky, the, the cracked leather, is also starting to fall off pretty badly and i don't know if there's any images of that but i i could have swore people were talking about that on twitter uh, if i can't find images then i'm probably just bullshitting maybe i don't know maybe i'll find my i don't know i maybe i'm off my my game today about that but all i know is that the lost of founds also had their fair share of you know issues as well so i managed to get two pairs of these nine and a half and eight and a half is going up on den of heat along with another Collegiate pair and then the Alma Meneers and then some Billy Adler stuff, which I'll post pictures on that later. But here's the box, UNC Jumpman right there. And then the tray, UNC Blue with black speckles. That was such a way, really terrible way of showing this box. But uh, this is an eight and a half right here in men's. I don't know, where is it at? There we go, eight and a half right there. And then again, we have a nine and a half. Let me take that out of the box real quick. Okay, so here they are, the Air Jordan 5 UNCs. 
Now, one thing that I really want to talk about, and this is kind of important, at least for me, and maybe a few of other you people out there that are into the whole collegiate uh, series, this tag, and I don't know why it's been mostly on UNC Paris, because for Georgetowns and for uh, Georgetowns, and then what else was there? For Oregon, but the fives did have this tag on there, uh, which by the way, these are very similar to those Oregon uh, GRPEs that released a few years back. There's, these are pretty similar. They had like, I want to say, I think these are like the same suede. I'm not for sure. I, I haven't seen those in a long time, but uh, I know that they had suede as well. Green apple joints. Uh, I th no, they're not the green. They're really basically called the Oregon some bullshit. Like that. I can't remember. Such a long time ago. So I'll have an image somewhere on there. But yeah, these are very similar to those. And they did have this tag on the back of them. Uh, which, by the way, some details are pretty neat about this. Let me show you guys real quick. Starting off, sock liner. As you can see, it's like that satin material all around it. So dope. And also the... And so I don't think you guys can really see it. I'm going to try to get as best as I Yeah, you can't really see it. But the insole is also uh, satin material, which I feel like it's going to make the shoe a little bit more cooler. And then on the back of the tongues, we also have some wording on there. We have this one saying, this is the left shoe. This one says soul on there. And the other one says, this one says heart right there. So yeah, pretty cool. Overall, the shoe is pretty amazing. Same thing in terms of quality control issues though. I have my personal pair in eight and a half. These are also in eight and a half. So I have an eight and a half and then I have for uh, sale. This is uh, th basically, I. these are actually better than my personal pair because these ended up having, uh, those have really no issues, but you guys can kind of see it. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, yeah, I know the camera won't focus on that, but there's like a little bit of like ridges in the leather, at least on this part. Uh, not too bad compared to my pair. Let me see. Let me see if I grab my pair real quick. Give me a second. Okay, on my pair, it's not too bad, but I mean, you kind of see it. It's definitely visible to the eye, but also slight glue stain. I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit right there, guys. So glue stain on mine, and then a little bit of this leather is like kind of like rigid a little bit, like rugged and shit like that. So, and also this scuff mark right here, which um, I, I don't think that's a scuff mark. I actually think, I think that's a glue stain actually. But it's pretty like on, on the camera at least it's pretty visible on the on the screen of my phone it's pretty visible but yeah no i mean and also i guess kind of right here i guess but not that big of a deal but yeah this is kind of like the uglier pair uh out of all of them it's kind of like kind of dusty as well here i don't know about the yeah it's kind of dusty right there i don't know man quality control is an issue and in my opinion this whole thing started whenever fucking uh the prices went up on these shoes it's insane but it's just it looks like whenever these prices went up everything started falling apart in terms of quality control. Um, I hope that Nike sees that and we go back to our lower prices. I know it's crazy to say, and it's probably never gonna happen, but it's just really sad to see the way that these shoes are being produced. It's just such a sorry ass fucking, sorry ass time for these shoes, man. I really hate that we're going through this reimagined phase. I really do hate it. And also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but like again, uh, if I did, then again, if I didn't, but I don't know what I'm trying to go with this, but what I'm saying is for these threes, okay, I'm not for sure if I really want to stick with them. Again, I really do think these are pretty damn lazy. So more than likely, I'll probably sell these or I'll probably wear these at an event and just keep them because I definitely don't sell anything used. So I just rather keep everything clean and sell to you guys. Uh, absolutely 100% dead stock. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's where I'm at in terms of this stuff. But back on to the collegiate talk. There's a bunch of player exclusives in terms of college uh, for Michigan. UNC, Georgetown, Oklahoma, Florida Gators, Oregon, and um, I think that's about it. Oh, and UCLA, UCLA. Now, let me show you guys another collegiate pair that we do have to post up later on. So let me show you guys real quick. So originally, this box right here signified that it was going to be a collegiate pair. This is the same box that had the Oregon P5s or GR in this case, that looks similar to the UNC Vibes. And I think as well, maybe one of the uh, GRP inspired threes. I think those were Georgetown threes. I think they were, I'm not for, no, no, those had the quarter box. I can't remember what other shoe had this box, but it was also a uh, collegiate, but I know some bullshit ass Air Jordan threes had these, like uh, the Animal Instinct or something like that, which was so stupid, such an ugly ass shoe. Um, but yeah, these mostly signify it's going to be a player exclusive. I don't know why 
uh, like stuff like the UNC sixes and the fours and the fives didn't get them, which is really weird, and as well as the ones, but it is what it is. But anyways, this is the other pair right here. The Air Jordan 6 Georgetowns. These are pretty damn gnarly. These are based off of this player exclusive right here, which these were a much more recent. Th that, that player exclusive was much more recent as well as the UNC 6s. Um, I don't know why the UNC 6s didn't get this same makeover. I feel like they would have uh, looked pretty dope, at least with that smooth leather like the uh, UNC 5s got. But it is what it is. I mean, I don't really care too much. But these don't really have that. Uh, obviously, they don't. They don't have the uh, that tag that people have been bitching about all the time. To me, it would have made them look a little bit more doper. And I feel like they would have moved a little bit faster. Um, but overall, player exclusive pairs that get turned into GRs are pretty dope. Uh, and we still, again, we still got another couple of them that have not released. We are getting this here, what, the uh, Georgetown 5s, and then we already got the UNC 5s. We're missing from UNC, I think, what, we have the 1s, we have the 3s, the 4s, the 5s now, and the 6s last year. And I think maybe 12s are also probably going to happen, I'm not for sure. Uh, but for UNC 1s, okay, every single UNC besides the 1 uh, in terms of GR, has gotten that tag so who knows we might see another unc one later down the road and uh, and again we i mean I don't, i'm pretty sure they're going to count these obviously because they hardly ever get that fucking tag but i know the UNC the georgetown fives are going to get that tag on the back so and i'll put images again on there about that shoe and i'm really excited about that so if this is something that really does you know get to you that's basically what these shoes are inspired by okay player exclusives from colleges from uh like i said oklahoma unc Georgetown, uh, UCLA, uh, and then Florida Gators. I mean, uh, quite a few colleges that obviously, you know, partnered up with Jordan Brand. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm looking forward to Georgetown 5s. I can't wait for those. I think they're going to be basically the same thing as these joints right here. So uh, be on the lookout for those because I feel like those are going to be absolutely gnarly just like these. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you're into PEs, you know, settle for the GRs, man. I mean, they're so expensive because I know these ones, the player exclusives of these, I think they're like around $10,000 to $15,000. UNC 5s around like fucking what? I think the same thing, like ten to 15000 because they like, these are not the most popular silhouette, both the 5s and the 6s. Um, the same goes for the, um, no, no, no. The 1s, 3s, and the 4s, those 100% do go for like, anywhere between thirty to $40,000 because they're super rare and also they're very, very hyped up uh, silhouettes as well compared to these two other um, silhouettes. So, yeah. But anyways, enough about that. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that you guys score, if you're really into this stuff, hopefully you guys score the rest of your collegiate pairs. Uh, and by the way, this is an opportunity for anybody. If anybody has the following Georgetown 1s from last year, fucking uh, Georgetown 3s, Let's see, UNC 1s and 3s. I need those. And then the Oregon 5s from a couple years ago. And I feel like there's a few others that I'm missing that were GRs as well. Oh, the fucking uh, Electric Green 6s. Those were dope as well. I did like those. I don't know why I passed up on them. I I, I think I, I did not like the sole. I think, because I mean, look what we got here. We got a nice icy blue sole. And then we get the Electric Green ones. And then we get like some really nasty ass like sold with it i i don't know i don't like the yellow sole that it got to it but um it is what it is but i'm honestly open to grabbing those shoes as well because i mean i'm not i mean as much as i like to get player exclusives it's just gonna be so hard to make sure that they're authentic and whatnot and i just rather settle for like the gr you know collection to be honest with you guys so i do have at least right now the fours uh obviously the fives and then the sixes as well. I have the sixes. So I have those three. And I'm missing just the ones and the threes. So yeah. If anybody wants to help me out on those. Let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, or on my TikTok as well. Uh, by the way. I've been on, trying to get on TikTok at least. I haven't posted really anything just yet. But uh, anyways. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys had a good one. Hope you guys had a safe St. Patrick's Day. Uh, stay safe out there. If you guys are still partying uh, over there. And um, yeah. Just be safe. Take it easy out there. And I'll uh, see you guys very soon on the next video. Peace.